Hi, this is Alan from Aztec Aquaponics. Uh, we're sorry we've been away a little while because of COVID lockdown, we've not been able to get to the farm. The fish has been taken care of, our partner, fish partner lives on site, so that's not a problem. So we've finally managed to complete our samponics bed. So here we have about 2.5 tons of sand in this uh, one by three meter bed, which of course is a lot of sand considering the price of sand in the, of silica sand, which we've gone for. Uh, this, this type of sand here, which is the right type of sand for samponics. Uh, in it, we have about 12 uh, cherry tomato uh, variants plants, cherry zebra and black cherry tomatoes. Plants have been in for about two weeks now, and the system has been cycling for about two weeks, and it's doing really well overall. We've noticed that we have a really good layer of, uh, of thick nutrients already forming on the surface. We look forward to seeing how the growth of the plants are going to affect the algae growth we're already seeing. Normally that should disappear when the tomato plants and the real growth really kicks in. They need to be a little bit higher before we reach that stage. But the main thing is the system is filtering really well. It fills, it fills as, as it should. We have it on a, a one and a half hour cycle. So every one and a half hours for eight hours or for ten times, eight, nine times a day. It fills for about two minutes and then left to drain. And it's running fine, we've not seen any problems with it. The water delivery system we've done is made to stop water turbulence. So when you think about building your sandponic system, really think about stopping water turbulence because otherwise water will naturally start, there's a lot of pressure on it. We have a very big pump in the middle of here of, the, of uh, our water system here. It'll start building pressure and the, the water will dig its way down the sand, obviously. And then you'll find, that the, you'll find that the water will find its way, dig its way down the sand bed, and maybe that's not good for the, you don't get any surface filtering. So we've actually had some of this guttering that we cut to make sure that we can break the pressure of the sand coming out. And uh, we have the sand delivery system that we're showing here in detail. Um, Sandponics obviously is great for one thing. It's great for plants that have deep roots so we've gone with tomatoes because we know they have a very large root system. Uh, carrots is another thing, maybe potatoes. Uh, we also put some basil in just because we like basil, nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. But the main thing is I've seen people do salads in samponics. It's okay, but if you really want to grow a lot of sal salads, I think DWC or, or Ralph system is still the best way to go because you get a lot more salad heads on that and it's a lot more efficient. But of course, it's a hobby system. You do what you like. As I said from the beginning, this system here is to test out the filtration that it can bring us in terms of the water filtering for the fish. And it's really doing great uh, work. So we'll do another whole video just on the filtration and maybe uh, testing the water also, looking at the nutrient levels in terms of ammonia, ni uh, nitrites, nitrates coming into the system and the, and the levels we get coming out. We expect to see that the system will provide oxygenation will be a bit of an MBBR, not the same levels, obviously, but will do a bit of the same functions. That's really what we're looking at. If this systems work out, we're really looking at maybe having an extremely long 20 meter system going all the way down the side here, getting rid of some of those IBCs, really to help with the filtration of the water, because apart from sand filters or even radial flow, what's good about this is you don't lose water by washing out sand filters or, or by cleaning out radio flow filters as well. That really happens sometimes. Not a lot with radio flow, but a lot more with the sand filters that you need to backwash. And that backwash, you lose a lot of water. Here, we don't lose any. So it's a great concept. So the next video we'll have is more about the economics of sandponics. As I said, two and a half tons in this bed is a lot. Uh, and whether it's worth it, uh, can you scale that economically? It depends on where you are. I'll put a link to Rebe Igoma in uh, Egypt who does some great samponics videos. Obviously they're in Egypt, there I say they have a lot of sand and it's free. So I think that's a great advantage. We have to pay more for it. And, but I think we'll talk about the economics of that and some of the alternatives you can maybe look at if you look at a larger installation. But that's all for now. Uh, but we'll see you in the next video. Take care.